there's a new natural remedy and 89% of dogs respond in positive. Find out what it is in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. I was doing a little light reading in between my reading and I saw this. CB trial results encouraging for dogs with epilepsy. Hipster here is a yellow lab. One of the breeds at higher risk for epilepsy. Upwards of one third of dogs may not be responding well to the conventional medication, be it phenobarbital, be it potassium bromide, or some of the newer generation anti-epileptic drugs. Hence, we're pretty keen on finding some alternatives. It'd be really good to find alternatives that are safe, reasonably effective, as well as being reasonably priced. And it just so turns out that CBD, cannabidiol, the non-psychoactive portion of the hemp plant, fits the bill. This was a small study in that they only enrolled uh, about 26 dogs. Approximately one half of them um, were given CBD oil, one half weren't. Um, they all remained on their anticonvulsant meds, be it potassium bromide or phenobarbital. But what they found is that the dogs that stayed on uh, the CBD, the cannabidiol, they showed 89% of them responded positively and showed a reduction in seizure activity. Like 89%, that's huge. It's almost all of them. If the pipster here were to have epilepsy, Darn right, I would be encouraging uh, her owner to be considering CBD. Pippi definitely responds better to the word treat. She's darn smart, she knows, you know the word treat. I'm trying to just get her to be a little more animated in today's video, mention the word treat. Oh my God, she comes right to life. Okay, so we just gotta pause this video. I have to give her a treat. Hipster, look what I have. Mmm. How can you tell a treat's coming? Oh, Pippi, oh, some yummy instinct. <gasps> what I wanted to show you guys is a new brand of CBD that I'm actually going to be selling something very similar soon. I wanted to show you what it's going to look like. I want to show you how easy it is to treat a dog such as Pippi and explain some of the benefits of it. So it's going to look something like this. It's full spectrum organic, 100% grown in the USA and Colorado. It is lab tested. It's third party verified free of any fungal mold, any toxins, 100% guaranteed. Um, along with the fact that it's using hemp seed oil as the carrier oil, which, me which means that it's much better in terms of one, it's all part of the hemp or the cannabis plants. So we're not dealing with any other product interactions. Secondarily too, many animals, as in many people, can get, uh, get upset stomachs when they're ingesting MCT oil. So many of the other Companies are actually using MCT oil as a carrier oil. This is only, only hemp, but then it's using hemp seed oil as a carrier oil, which is awesome. Also what I like is it's got a medical grade bottle and tincture dropper system. So when you look at it, you're guaranteed that one drop is one drop. You don't squish it and is it one drop or three drops? Does it come out fast? And you can like slowly give one drop at a time. So it's very easy to actually give an accurate dose, which is so what I find has so much been missing um, for many of the other CBD supplements. The study that's being done at CSU, they didn't actually publish doses what they're using, um, but a fairly sort of standard dose is about one milligram of CBD per 10 pounds of body weight, and that can be given twice daily. So that equates on for this bottle um, to one drop of CBD per 10 pounds, Pippi is 50 pounds, she's gonna get five drops. 
Okay, Pippi, you get to have something. We're gonna do five drops. Show the people how easy it is without having you to eat it all. Okay, Pipster. You can just give it under your dog's lips. It just needs to be onto the gums and it's actually almost ideal um, where they don't actually ingest it because it, then you can actually bypass the stomach get potential, potentially higher systems within their blood and direct it to the areas we want it to go to, you know, such as the joints to help with these arthritic guys. Okay, Pippi, let's show them how easy it is to dose you. We're just going to lift up her lips. All right, Pipster, we've got five drops right here on your lips. So there it is, Pippi. Really easy to do an accurate dosing. First of all, we've got like positive reports of a natural product uh, showing a dramatic reduction in seizure activity um, in dogs that were tested in university. Secondly, I'm gonna be having a new CBD product for you guys shortly. Third, Pippi says it's good news because she got to consume something. Be it food, be it CBD, mmm, it's all good. Something can go into her mouth. Come on, baby. Ah. Tula was feeling a bit left out. So she's now in the video too. All right, Tula. So thanks you guys so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Thank you, Pippi. Thanks, Tula, for being patient. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information.